Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So um this is gonna be a bit of a survival roleplay on um farming simulator. Credits to Dagoin for doing this. I'm just uh, quite keen to do one on my own. That's why I did one on um the toy farm. Also I shall give credits to Morgan the Biker 2011, so he can you, he can do some like, something like this as well. So um, this is my career map on Sandy Bay. So we start off in the starter farm. Let's tab over to my farm. So hang on, just so you can't see. Right, go over here. Right, so this is my farm. So here's my wood pile, and this is my little garden area. Over here, we have the uh, toilet. Yes, uh, very uh, luxury. So, uh, over here, we've got my Land Rover which has a very weird registration plate because AU06 OAX is a 2006 registration plate and this thing is probably from about 1976 so that's a bit weird that's the name of the farm, Fox Prairie Farm over here we have my 390T on a loader and a mod update, the Massive Ferguson 168 multi power turbo. I've got my toolkit. Here's the farm land rover with the beacon. So, this is a, used for like taking things into the field and stuff. Then we have a uh, Ferguson shed. Uh, some very. This thing scared me when I first started this map. It's very creepy. Anyway, so you've got the old Ferguson with banana loader, you've got a plough, you've got your forks, you've got well, muck fork on it. This T TA20, just on the log splitter, and a bucket. Nothing else in this shed. So, over here, in this barn, we've got my Honda quad bike, which is Lizard Bear, because obviously, you know. A uh, little cart here, a little John Deere cart. Old Ferguson 20 mile an hour, well, that's what it says on the back, or something like that, a uh, little trailer. Then over here we have my hedge cutter, square baler, a uh, muck spreader, that's the train going underneath us, underneath the map. And we have this beast, 3060 Massey. Um, and then here we have this little Robert Topper. Over here, we have an old uh, red lock, as a farm sim can call it. Oh, it's red rock. I put yellow wheels on, I don't know why, I just think it looks quite nice with yellow wheels. It looks quite old fashioned, really. Massive discs, I don't know why they're so big. No wonder it's called a big TT. I have a little uh, coon sprayer with a TX32 combine, quite a nice combine actually. Um, from what I presume, well, there's some of this is scratch belt. Um, burnt out wreck of a Zetor, because it looks a bit burnt out. Uh, up here. Now, you can't really break this fence here, you can't drive through it. So what I've done is just gone on landscaping and made a bridge over it so I can get over into these fields. Because if I didn't have this here, I would have to drive all the way down the lane over there and then come up through the other fields. But now I can just drive through from this way. Then here I've got a old forager, John Deere forager, with a pottinger sort of um, windrower, very small. Um, then I have this, another red rock trailer. I don't know, I'll just keep putting yellow wheels on. I do like the yellow wheels though. I need to get some uh, hens from this. Old caravan here. And that's pretty much it. So, 
yeah. I'll, um... Oh, and in fact, we're not done yet. Um, I'll just hop on the quad. Don't understand why I think I can do them in 93 miles an hour, but it just can. Find some physics. So, this is just going down my track that I just made. Vitara here. Not badged. And in this shed, well, he's got his own Taurus tipping trailer. He's a bit of a contractor. He's got a Deutsch DX 140 with his new Holland round baler and his Vernlunder plow. That's his shed. And over here, he's got some barns and some. This is his back door. Lawn. And then back up and up there is just the lighthouse and an old barn. So not really bells and whistles, is it? But um, I picked this farm mainly number one because it's out of the way. Number two it's up a track and number three what number three is. Look at the blooming view. Brilliant. You can see all over Sandy Bay. So, just test out the cattle bridge. I will eventually maybe put something on here, like expand the farm, but um, I've only just created this farm. Obviously I do like doing my own little tweaks to it, but um, yeah, it's a decent little farm. I hope to be doing more of our broad plays, as well as um, stuff on the Twee farm. I'm not probably going to be doing, this is just a other quick shout out. Yes, I know if you watch my survival roleplay on um, my toy farm, um, I keep getting mistakes with what the episodes are going to be called or stuff like that. Um, I accidentally called episode number 8, episode 7, so sorry for that. But um, I'll try and remember this time, but um, yeah a bit of a tour of the farm so see you again maybe in the next video which will probably be 10 minutes later bye for now I guess